Hi guys, I'm Chelis Nare Kaknazarian and today I want to share with you with uh, something really special for me and I've, I've never done before any reviews or, or videos like this but uh, this particular item is so crucial in my very extensive traveling life that I feel that I have to share with you uh, with this really fantastic piece of luggage. It's, uh, this is called Olaf uh, Business Scooter. It's the company Olaf in Slovenia, um, which makes really great stuff. And this particular suitcase is, is really something which changed my life and made my traveling uh, routine so much easier. Uh, as you can tell from the name, it's a scooter bag which means it's a carry-on suitcase, quite spacious, a very good suitcase, which also transforms into a scooter. And this is how it works. So as you can see, the handle has two positions, a uh, scooter and you go a little bit higher, trolley. So the trolley position is a bit higher so you can have a more comfortable uh, experience rolling. Uh, now we, we're gonna put in a scooter position and with just a one simple gesture of your finger, you just press the button here and hit voila. The suitcase becomes a scooter and you are ready to ride. As you can see, it's a lot of fun and uh, to ride it, and it's fast, it's reliable, and it saves a lot of time. And the most important, it's just fun. So the tilting is, if you are wondering how how I control the suitcase, the tilting is the turning is uh, being done by tilting the suitcase to the right or to the left. You can see the wheels turning to the right and to the left. And of course, for security there is a, a brake pedal here so you just press on here and the scooter stops and after you are done with riding this beauty and after you had enough fun just press this pedal here and just with this light the scooter becomes suitcase as you can see this is a really unique bag uh, and you already saw the main feature of this bag, the scooter part. And uh, I want to walk you through uh, to some uh, exterior and interior features of this wonderful suitcase. On the front, as you can see, we don't really have anything. It's a very sleek design. And uh, on the bottom, we have this uh, sort of a very, very sturdy stand, so it can stand uh, straight and on the back uh, other than the scooter itself the, the uh, you know the, the the scooter part and the button and the fixator we have two pads on each side which is very functional and which is something new in the new model uh, and that is for the the bag to not slide when it's on a line like this because uh, before it, it was quite a problem because you, you would put like this and it would slide away but now it's it really grips the surface and it doesn't go anywhere it's really a great uh, add-on to the, to the suitcase another really great improvement in the new model 2018 model is the fact that uh, this suitcase is now expandable so with a zipper over here you can actually expand the suitcase to fit more stuff if you are traveling on a vacation or you went to a business trip and bought some souvenirs or new clothes and it really adds significant amount of space but uh, bear in mind that uh, in expanded position it 
probably would not fit carry-on requirements of the airlines. Um, and another great feature in the new bag is that here it has sort of hidden pocket for passport and valuables so so you can easily access and store your passport boarding pass wallet whatever you want on a travel so you can easy easily access it quite fast and just breeze through the security all right so we've already seen the exterior features and now let's look inside this bag that it has actually very nice quality, very uh, durable zippers, which I really like. So here we have sort of the upper layer, upper compartment of the suitcase. On this side, on the lead side, we have a big mesh pocket with zipper uh, for documents, uh, I don't know, any sort of papers or, or whatever you need to store. In my case, as you can see, it's uh, music and scores. Um, also I put here the, some cello strings. Uh, this is a pocket for the passport and documents which I told you about uh, for boarding pass for easy access. Um, on this side, on the upper side, eh, we have also a little mesh pocket for some electronics um, and two uh, compartments for I don't know, any documents, any files, notebooks, iPad, Kindle, whatever you need to store. And this is a big uh, compartment for a laptop which can fit up to 17 inch laptop. In my case, I have a 14 inch, so there's plenty of room here. Um, so this is a first layer, upper layer. So let's check out the lower and main compartment of this suitcase. So the zippers are also quite sturdy and high quality, which I really like. So here inside, as you can see, I actually don't have this compartment fully packed, but uh, it still fits a lot of stuff. So you can see, if you can see, I, can, I have here a pair of pants, one, two, three, four sweaters uh, or shirts it depends on your preference this is just I packed it as an example this uh, underwear bag a pair of shoes and a toe tree set um, there is still room to pack more um, actually in those uh, you know, in those places uh, on the sides, other than shoes, can be packed some smaller items like chargers, I don't know, uh, travel scales and whatever you, you need. So this is a quite spacious uh, compartment and uh, you can pack, I think, uh, enough clothes for up to three, four days or maybe even more. It depends on your preference. Oh, last. But not least, I want to talk about handle, uh, which is a very, very important point in this suitcase for me. So, from one point of view, uh, the, the handle is actually uh, wide enough and is quite comfortable to hold it with both hands for steering, for comfortable steering. But from another point of view, uh, if you check in the market, most of the other brands, other scooter bags, uh, they have a special handle which looks a bit like this, you know, much wider, and uh, like a, I don't know, motorcycle wheel uh, or bicycle, um, which might seem more comfortable to steer, which actually doesn't for me, doesn't feel more comfortable but which doesn't, which doesn't allow you to slip through any pocket for a laptop bags. Uh, and this suitcase, the Olaf business, allows you to do that, and, uh, which is a crucial point for me. So here you can see I have my laptop bag uh, fits perfectly, slides through, and I can quite comfortably uh, carry it 
on the suitcase without worrying whether it's going to fall off or something. And I personally, I prefer to have my laptop and charger and the Kindle and uh, other essential things. I prefer to have it uh, separately for uh, easier and faster access. So, so um, the fact that the handle of all of business scooter uh, allows you to do that is very important, at least for me. So this was my review on uh, Olaf business scooter bag. I hope you enjoyed it. But um, before saying goodbye, I have to say, uh, I have to mention one important fact if, if you consider uh, buying this suitcase. Uh, the, the weight of this bag is five kilos, which is explainable because of the pretty sturdy you know, metal aluminium construction and the fact that it's not just a suitcase, it's a scooter bag. So as, as a consequence, the weight is five kilos, which is uh, heavier than average carry-on suitcase. So if you live in Europe and you travel a lot with uh, airlines such as, I don't know, Lufthansa, Austrian Airlines and other airlines which have a weight regulations, weight limits on a carry-on luggage. In case of Lufthansa and Austrian Airlines, it's ridiculous eight kilos, which I think it's absolute ripoff, and it always makes me angry when I travel with those airlines, because eight kilos for a carry-on uh, uh, carry-on limit, it's it's really nothing. I mean, even with the lightest suitcases, you can't really carry a lot with eight kilos limitation. So in, in case of this suitcase, if you fly with uh, Lufthansa or uh, other star lines, remember airline which has eight kilos or any low cost or airlines which also have uh, weight limitations, you will be able uh, to pack only a few kilos of clothes and stuff. So it's not very practical in those cases. And when I travel with those airlines, I, I always, um, it's, it's either a very short trip, one or two day trip, or it's, um, it's a longer trips where I use this suitcase as a uh, additional carry-on bag in addition to a main uh, suitcase which I check in, uh, into, a it, into a baggage. So for me personally, it's not a big deal. And especially if you travel to some other countries, uh, United States or other countries which don't have weight limitations, then it's absolutely no problem. But uh, even with European airlines and low-coaster airlines, for me, it's not a big deal because I love this suitcase so much. And the, the pluses and advantages of this suitcase are so crucial and so important that the weight doesn't really bother me. And uh, for me, this suitcase is really the best carry-on luggage. And uh, it made my life and my travel routine so much more easy fun and fast and actually frankly speak, speaking uh, quite many times this suitcase saved me from missing my flights so uh, i strongly recommend olaf business scooter to everyone who wishes to make their lives easier